hello hello cauldron witches <laughs> welcome to this fun demonstration on how to draw up a nice witchy bath including a cat apparently that's one of the ingredients that you will need for this <laughs> what are you doing he hates the water but yet loves the bathtub so welcome i don't know I can't really see the screen very well from way over here. And also, I don't really know how it's going to work when I start the bath up. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But hello, everyone. What? What do you want? Oh. <laughs> yes, there's a cat in the bath. Come here, mommy. Come on. Just for now, because as soon as that water turns on, he's definitely jumping out. <laughs> So this is something that is fairly simple to do. I'm sure many of you already do this. I would just like to guide, especially the new witches and the beginners on how to really do this. And you know, it helps anyone that has done it, make it so they're not second guessing if they're doing it right or whatever. So tonight the intention for my bath is going to be self-love because it is self-love Sunday. I can't see the comments. Hello, hi, now I can see the comments. Is it gonna be weird if I sit on my toilet? <laughs> oh, I left Marley. He's like <laughs> um, so if anyone does have any questions throughout all of this, of course, feel free to ask. Again, this is very, very simple. Most, pretty much everything I'm using, you can get at the grocery store or at like Walmart, Wegmans, whatever. Wherever you shop mostly. Hi, hi everybody. I was worried this was going to be too late, but I wanted it. I am going to be actually taking a bath after I stop the lives because, you know, my waste of beautiful bath. But yeah, tonight it is all, hi everybody, it's all going to be about self-love. I think we all need it, and I think this is a great ritual for that. Now, I am, you don't have to be calling upon a specific deity or anything like that. This is... And you don't even have to be a witch to do something like this. People do this all the time, obviously. They create, you know, they have Epsom salts that are infused with things for a reason. So, obviously this is something that is good. Get off of that. Get, get. This, it's like having a child in here. The cat, I'm sorry. <laughs> he won't leave me alone. Uh, but I'm going to start by going over all of the ingredients. Marley, is that necessary? Come on, get out of there. <laughs> He's in the curtain. I need one drawn for me, right? <laughs> I know, it's funny. Like on Friends, when Monica made Chandler take a bath, when she was like, oh, I promised you're going to love it, because he's like, baths are for women. But anyone can do this. This is not, absolutely not just for women. And you can totally do it yourself, too. <laughs> but this is going to be, this is a very simple way to do it. So I'm going to go through the ingredients. What are you getting? Cat hair all over the place. <laughs> okay, so I just got this tub, okay? My mom and stepdad did all the work, and it looks beautiful. I have been without a bathtub for at least five years, so I have not been able to do this for a long time. So since I can, I bought, like, every kind of bath salt that you can imagine. So we have Calm and Serenity. Look at that, guys. It even tells you, like, what the use is for it. So this is Calm and Serenity with Rose Essential Oil, which this is the one I am going to be using tonight. Then we have Pink Himalayan Mineral Soak, Restore and Replenish. I might use a little bit of that, too, because it smells amazing. Then we have Cannabis Sativa Hemp Seed Oil, uh, which is for relaxing. It's for muscle pains and stuff like that and aches. That's what that's for. And it's funny, I posted this ingredient on TikTok and they said it went against community guidelines. <laughs> so I had to leave that part out. And then we have a comfort and calm with chamomile. So as you can see, you pretty much already have the ingredients. Love your bathroom. Thank you. <laughs> Again, my mom and stepdad did it. They did a great job. Uh, these are all great things that you can add to your bath and it doesn't really matter the intention it has the Epsom salts, and that is a great base for any bath. Because there's tons of intentions that you can get. Like, my 
uh, brother and his husband's shop, the voodoo store, they sell a ton of baths, like the little mixture that you pour into your bath that are all ritual based. So check them out if you haven't already. Look under the baths, but they also have just the bath salts that you can add, but go check it out if you're interested in that. Otherwise, here's how we're creating our... So we have the Epsom salts, which I will be putting in. I am going to be taking apart this beautiful rose and putting it in the water. I have some already crushed dragon's blood. Dragon's blood is actually really, really good for your skin. So you can definitely put it in your bath and it'll be fine. So I'm going to put some of that in there because that's just going to boost your intention, of course. And then I did grab a couple essential oils that I wanted to make sure I used because I am doing a self-love spell, ritual, soak, whatever. Um, I have Love Potion, it's called. And this I actually get from Wegmans. And this has mandarin orange, lemon, cardamom, sandalwood, patchouli, ylang ylang, and vetiver, and jasmine. So it has a bunch of different essential oils mixed into this to make a love mixture. Ta-da! So that will be going in there. And I'm only going to put a few drops of each. Always make sure that whatever you're using in your bath is skin safe. That's very important. You're soaking in this because especially with like the Epsom salts, you're supposed to soak for at least 20 minutes in those to really get the full effect of them. So there's that. I do have my crystals in here. I don't, like if I had a bunch of rose quartz, I'd probably line the edges with those, but I don't. I just have a hodgepodge of a bunch of different things, so I'm not really going to line the tub with it. You can. You can do whatever you want. Obviously, make sure that whatever crystals you are using, and you could even get some polished rose quartz and put it in the bathtub with you. Just make sure cat crying out there. I have a cat in my tub. I don't know what's going on. But just make sure the crystals can get water on them. Obviously some things that we use are minerals and some crystals just should not have water anywhere near them. So there's that. I have a bunch of candles. 12 to be exact. I do have my statue of Hecate out here. Now again though you don't have to be calling upon a specific deity or anything. I just was going to mention it that in case you do want to call upon your deity, you can have the statue. <laughs> you, I'm seeing Marley. You can have the statue in your bath to not your bathtub, your bathroom with you. So I'll have her overseeing my bath. I do also have a bell because you could potentially before you get in chime your bell. This one's loud. And then when you get out, you can do it again <laughs> to kind of like clear things and reset and all that. Now, another thing that's important. Oh, hold on. I have to go grab something. I'm sure the cat will leave the tub once there's water in it. That's absolutely true. He really hates water. He's the kitten. What was I in? Come here. You can come in here. That wasn't that far away. Um, another thing you need, well you don't need, but another thing you could do is use an incense. So you could use sage or palo santo to cleanse the space. Cleanse the space? Did I say? Or you can just use a regular incense. So I actually have a rose scented cone that I will be using. Because again, we're all about self love right now. And that doesn't really have to be in the picture. <laughs> this cat, he's crazy. Oh huh, Marley. He was actually found outside, not here, but somewhere. He was found outside somewhere by one of, someone's family dog. And he is, <laughs> his eyes were still shut and everything, so he's a little rescue kitten. He's fascinated by the fire, huh? What? What, baby? He's so cute, though. He, like, grabs your face and gives you kisses. <laughs> Come here. You want to say hello? You want to say hello? Oh. Oh, he smells the incense. Woo! <laughs> Sorry, kitty. Okay, so I do also have some flowers just for ambiance because I think that that's good to have. I also have some eucalyptus hanging, which is also nice to have. It's good for uh, air, air breathing, air, <laughs> you know. And I have another candle over there. 
Now another thing I do recommend, especially if you're putting a bunch of herbs into your bath, you definitely don't want to clog up your bathtub. So if you have one of these wonderful dome thingies, this is a great thing to make sure all the crap doesn't get down your drain. So you would unplug your drain and stick this over it and all the herbs and stuff, whatever you put in there. Because something like this, you could use real rosemary and you could use real lavender. And if you get like the bath mixtures from the voodoo store, they, you know, there's herbs and stuff in there. So this will save you time and aggravation of unclogging your tub from all the crap that we just put in it. You don't have to have it on there while you're taking the bath, but... And then another great thing to have is whatever beverage of choice that you may be drinking. Now mine is rum and pineapple. Thanks, Marley. <laughs> that was necessary. This is fun, huh? Having a cat? <laughs> um... You can have tea though. Tea is a great additive to your relaxation. And also if you have like one of those cool trays go across the tub. I'm planning on making a coffin shaped tray for my tub, which I cannot wait to do. I will be doing that because I need it. I need it. I do have a bunch of wood out in the garage though. So, oh, the other thing I have is bubble bath. So Dr. Teal's makes bubble bath, which also has the Epsom salt and essential oils in it. Bourbon, there you go. <laughs> I'm a rum, I'm a rum drinker. Hmm. But it helps to have it in a fancy cup. Huh, Marley. Okay, so I am, like I said, I don't know if you're going to be able to hear me once this bath water starts going. But I am going to start it, and we'll talk through it and see how it goes. But I'm going to start adding ingredients and see how it goes. Now, one thing that's funny about this tub, we're still trying to, well, not we. Who am I kidding? I'm not doing any of this. I don't know anything about this, but something's going on in the, the workings that water comes out up here, too, while I'm filling up the bath. But it's okay, because it still does the job. Let's see. We calling witches love our rum. Yes, we do. <laughs> Although dad was whiskey. <laughs> but rum is the best. And cheers, Jeff. <laughs> okay. So to start, I am going to light my candles. I have my wonderful incense going. You can't see it, but it's a beautiful backflow burner. So it's going down and making the cool stream. Okay, did I, I did plug that, right? All right, so what I'm gonna do is add my Epsom salts. Marley is here to learn as well. So I am going to use the rose essential oil. I think it's two cups you're supposed to use. Yeah, two cups. Now what you could do if you wanted to mix things, you could do like a cup of this and a cup of something else. So that's probably what I'm gonna do. Actually, that's not probably, that is what I'm gonna do. I just do it by eye. That's what we do. <laughs> if you don't know ish how much a cup is. And I'm I'm doing the restore and replenish one too. Because I feel like that's very important with self-love. And it says at least two cups. So if you go over, that's okay too. Hi Marley. Okay, I'm just gonna add everything first and then I'll start the bath. Brilliant! And then we'll talk a little bit as it rises. Uh, that one we are going to add at the end. <laughs> Alright, so the essential oils. Remind me not to laugh so much in these things. I'm going to do 10. Some people do like 20. I'm not doing that. This one I'm only going to do 5. 5 is a good number for love. <laughs> Try to get it out really quick <laughs> before I end up. No, you can't go in there. No, no, no. <laughs> I have ingredients in here now. <laughs> get out of here, boy. Get, get, get. Okay, now the dragon's blood. Now this is a resin. But again, like I said, it's really good for your skin. When I had my soap that was dragon's blood, 
That was amazing. Eventually I'll be making my own. But that's neither here nor there. <laughs> All right. So I think that's it for like the, that kind of ingredients. <laughs> Marley's looking at the smoke like it's taking over the world. So if there are men that are watching this that have a significant other who may or may not be a witch, you can do something nice or for your spouse. It doesn't matter if you're a girl or a boy really or whatever. You can do this for your spouse or significant other and, you know, show them how much you care. Because if you, as long as, if, stick with the self-love. Everybody needs self-love. But there are other baths that you can do if you're looking for an intention-filled bath. Now, another thing I do suggest is to figure out what kind of mood you want to create within your space. So if you are doing a self-love sort of thing, you can play something like this. Alexa, play I love my appearance. I am strong, healthy, and I take excellent care of myself. And with each affirmation, if you want to make it fun, take a drink. I believe in myself. Woo! Yes, I do. I am worthy of love. Absolutely. We'll do one more. I accept compliments with ease. Alexa, pause. Sorry, the first time I said her name, I know I said it loud, and I'm sorry if I set anyone else's device off. So you can play something like that. This is actually a book on Audible that just reads affirmations to you. Jackfire. Oh, it's, wait, are you talking about alcohol? Oh, Jack Daniels. Oh, I see. I see now. Jack Daniels is good, and I SoCo used to be my thing, but that's when I drank soda, so I do SoCo and Coke. Coca-Cola, obviously. But yeah, Jack Daniels is good. But yeah, so you can play something like that. Or you can play something like, I don't know, Alexa, oh, sorry, play chill on Sirius XM. Or you can play something like this. Sirius XM chill from Sirius XM. And just make it a disco tech. But you're trying to relax. You're trying to embrace yourself and get into the... Whatever mood you want to create for your ritual and for your bath, that's what you're doing. This device is amazing. I stink and love it. <laughs> so you can play anything. You can even make a playlist. You can make like a bath time playlist that gets you in that space of really taking in the ingredients that you're putting in, the care that you're putting in. Time for another dance session. No, after this, I am relaxing. Well, maybe. It depends on the, how many drinks I have on a Sunday night. But you know what? It's been a week. It's been a month. It's been a few months, okay? So, cheers. So let's go ahead and get this started and then I'll start lighting all the candles. I do like the whole have a drink after the affirmations thing. That's fun. I know some people don't drink. That's fine. Drink your tea. Tea is amazing. My favorite, Alexa, stop. My favorite teas to drink, as far as ones that you can get at the grocery store goes, are the traditional medicinals line. And it says right on the box what they're for. My favorite, my two favorites from, well, I have three favorites that I use a lot. Well, not so much the last one since nobody's leaving their houses. Uh, but the Cup of Calm is a great one. Cup of Sunshine and Gypsy Cold Care is a great one if you have a cold, which, like I said, no one's going anywhere, so. Germs or snotches? Snotches. See it? I can't see the comments. I'm sorry. Yes! 
All right, so without further ado, let's get the bath started and see if you guys can still hear me. Now remember, this comes out the top too, so don't pick on me. <laughs> So this is when I would add my bubbles. <laughs> I saved just enough for tonight. <laughs> And as you're filling your bath, you can be thinking about your intention fill. Thinking about all the self-love that you're going to get in this bath. This I might... Um, and even with each rose petal, if you're putting rose petals excuse me, in... Think about your intention with each petal that you're putting into the bathtub. So you could be saying these affirmations, but your own style, in your head or out loud as you're doing this. Going. It smells amazing in here. If you, if you haven't used the Epsom salt, do it. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. So another trick that I do personally, because I'm crazy and like really, really hot water, is I get a big pot of water boiling on the stove. So I usually start it before I start my bath, and I know as soon as the bath is done, that will be boiling, and I top off my bath with, it's not like crazy boiling, but you know, boiling pot of water. And it helps dissolve the salts more, and it's wonderful. 
Oh, I forgot three candles. Now, again, if anyone has any questions, throw them out there. I know it's not that hard to draw a bath. I like saying draw a bath. I always thought it was more fancy. I was, I was worried that people would be confused because I keep saying you're drawing a witchy bath. I don't think, I don't want people to think like I'm showing you how to draw. <laughs> I'm totally not. <laughs> I do. I don't typically, but you could. I mean, that's a good idea to really get the uh, essence of the herbs out of them. Mm -hmm. So, very good idea. Very good idea. Do you, Jeff? <laughs> and again, any questions? Let me know. We're gonna get this bad boy filled. I was going to like take the camera over so you could see how pretty it is. I'm gonna turn the light off. Yay! <laughs> it's so pretty though, huh? I love it. And I, if you could smell it, you'd be like, oh yeah, we're getting in that bath. <laughs> well, of course. Of course you do. But that is a good idea. I did not think to do that, and the main reason why I guess I probably wouldn't think to do that is because <laughs> that would require I'd have to wash the pot every single time I did that. <laughs> this way I don't have to wash it every single time. I, it's just water, so I just leave it on the stove for the next bath. But if there was herbs in it, I'd have to wash it. It's so nice. It is really nice. It is. And if anyone has any ideas, go ahead and throw them out there. You can get so creative with the, the, your rituals in your bath that the possibilities are endless, don't you know? So, you know, if you've never thought of it as a ritual before, now you can. And now you can think differently about what you're adding to your bath and what kind of intentions you might want to promote while doing these workouts. So yeah, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. I think I'm gonna finish a whole drink. I did. <laughs> that was dumb. Don't shut off. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes that accent comes out. I don't know where it comes from, but it happens. My family, my whole family does it sometimes, that we come out with different accents that we don't know where they came from. It just happens. And can I just say, anytime anyone makes the typo of saying me instead of my, so like today I was typing... I think I saw you, Jeff. I said my brother. Oh, because so I was talking about the fertility spell. I found someone to do that for, and I was telling them it came out of the book by my the book by my brother. And I said me brother, so it turned it into Ir Irish. Irish. <laughs> I only had one drink. Okay. And an Irishman is never drunk if he can hold on to a blade of grass and not fall off the face of the earth. Just so you know. And I. Totally will not fall off the face of It's always a fun time on these lives, isn't it? Yes, it is. I'm going to send you a bronze for second so you can make a little shrine there. That'd be cool. You know, it's funny. The, um, the little cherub on the dolphin that I got from the thrift store, I was actually going to put it in here as something that holds things in the bathtub. But he that is on my my water deity shrine upstairs. 
But that would be lovely. Now, yeah. Don't get rid of all your stuff, though. <laughs> Looks like we are almost done filling up the tub. The video, this tutorial is almost done. I don't know how long it's been taking, but it seems like it's been taking a while to fill up the tub. <laughs> and then I'm going to run and grab my pot of water, and I'll bring it in. Well, you know what? I'll do that before I get in. Never mind. Well, I'll keep it running. So I can turn this off in there. Again, any questions, let me know. <laughs> it's so pretty. So much fun. I love it. I'm excited. Now I get to take a nice bath. <laughs> It takes a while. It takes a while. So I guess we'll summarize everything, okay? For a wonderful, intention-filled bath, all you need is yourself, your intention, a great, great additives to that are Epsom salts, and they stay right on them what they're for. That's one of the ones I use. <laughs> But see, it says calm and serenity, comfort and calm, and restore and replenish. So that can help you, but if you know you're jealous, well then make a bath. This should inspire you to make a bath. Um, yeah, so you can have those. I added the dragon's blood resin because it's good for your skin. I added essential oils. I added my love potion essential oil and lavender. Nothing's going right. <laughs> Except I had a wonderful drink. So you should have a drink of sorts, whether it's water or rum and pineapple or wine or tea, whatever you want to do. Something to hydrate you or not <laughs> while you're in the bath. Crystals. You can have crystals along with your stuff. Candles. Definitely. Flowers are great. Hi. You're there. Mm -hmm. I love him. He's so adorable. He's crazy though. Alright, so I'm going to turn the bath off and I will show you the mood. So I will see now I also on Audible I have, sorry you can't see I have the Practical Magic book, so usually when I'm taking a bath, like a regular bath, I'll be playing that. But since this one is a ritual bath, there is a difference, okay? So there's a difference between just a soaking bath and a ritual bath. The ritual bath has your intentions, and you have one intention typically, give or take, and you're, you're thinking about that the whole time you're in the bath, you know what I mean? So... <laughs> These cats with these can't well him with these candles. He loves them. I had to stop them many times last time that I did this. All right, so I am going to spread these out a little bit, make them look a little bit more pretty. That sounded weird. Plop. <laughs> Come on, look pretty, look pretty. Okay. You dirty like water. <laughs> I am strong, healthy, and I take excellent care of myself. I believe in myself. Now look at that, the shower is making a nice I little <laughs> of fountain. Me. I am powerful, confident, and I am realizing 
all my dreams. Oh my god, I love that. Love it. <laughs> yeah, Yvonne, I'm not getting in while on camera. I am strong. I love this. Alexa. Oh, sorry guys. Pause. Alright. So that does conclude... Oh, well, the light off is nice. It's got a nice ambiance in here, right? So that does conclude tonight's tutorial. Does anyone have any questions for me before I say goodbye? It is so relaxing. And then to be in it and then having these amp informations. See? <laughs> Don't get drunk with a cullen. They turn into multiple people. Um, yeah, having those <laughs> affirmations, man. Yeah, I think they would too. Yeah, and I think, uh, you know, my family that's watching would have something to say about that. <laughs> Never mind all that nonsense. I'm working on my self-love. I don't want to be showing it. But, yes, it's very simple, and, you know, I know not everyone has a bath, and I'm really sorry, you know, maybe it'll be worth it for you to go one night and stay at a hotel and that has a bathtub so you can do this in it. But remember your little screen thingy. Hold on. So things don't get clogged. Put this over the drain before, you know, letting, you know. Uh, so there's that. <laughs> it's been so much fun hanging with you guys, though. I had a great time. <laughs> and now I get to enjoy this. And, you know, and this. Oh, look at the kitty. Look at him. Marley, what are you doing? So I hope you enjoyed this wonderful tutorial. I hope it does inspire you to get hands-on and do something like this for yourself. And happy witchcrafting. And have a wonderful night. Have a great Sunday. Self-love Sunday. Come on. Get get with it. <laughs> if you don't, you can add essential oils to the floor of the shower. Yes. Yes, that's true. They, they do have... Yes, Yvonne, you can. Um, they do have actually... You know how they have like the bath bombs and stuff? They do make stuff like that for showers. That puts steam out into, you know, the... Flavored, not flavored, infused steam out into the area around you. But yes. Yes, absolutely. Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> and thank you, everybody, for watching. I really hope you got something out of this other than me making a fool of myself and my cat. Oh, how adorable is that, though? Oh, Marley, don't jump in. Or don't touch the candles. All right, I'm going to go so I can get this bath taken. Have a great night, guys. And, again, happy witchcrafting. Mm -hmm.